All right, I'm going to make this more about the switch than this mug. So just listen to what I've got to say, and I'll try to show you as best as I can. It's a video. I don't have you here holding your hand, so you got to kind of make your way. Okay, we know we have one switch leg like we talked about in here. That's my yellow. I just label it yellow. It's going to the switch box. What I do, when I rub a house, I get my little side cuts. One, two, three. I don't care how deep it is. I want it to nick those wires, okay? I'll explain why in a second. But you see that? See, you open it up and you can see that it's split in there, all right? That's what I do with my switch legs. It's an identification purpose. I put them on the outside of the boxes, but when I got three, four, five, six game, whatever, it's all then it's irrelevant when you put them in the box. You got a lot more wires. Again, use my dull razor knife. Haven't sharp that, sharpened that, or had it sharpened in a couple of years. Same blade. Little nick. Pull my wires off. Okay, let's do all of these. All right, pull those off. Pull those off. Oh, here's my three wire. That's pretty easy to see. I label it red, but we already know because there's a red in there. We already know it's a three wire. Okay. First thing we do, take your grounds, push that paper up, and pull it off. Simple. Pull off all of them. Okay, there's one more. All right. First thing I do, I do my grounds first. Always have a system. Do it the same each time. It saves you time. If you're thinking of the next step, like a good apprentice knows the next step of his journeyman. But if you know the next step, you're ready to go. I'm already thinking about the other the other switch. Then it becomes second nature. Now I've got my four grounds. I need two grounds. I know that. Take two grounds. I've showed it in a video before. A little loop in that wire. I know I'm needing two grounds. I take the other two, put them in there, same length as those two, cut them off, made them even with them. Then I'm squeezing and twisting those babies together. Some people don't twist them together. I don't know why. Then you run the risk of it popping out of a wire nut. Don't want to do that. They're all twisted together. Bang. I know I brought wire nuts up here. Ah, uh, yes I did. Excuse me. Throw a red wire nut on there. I'm not worried about splicing that in yet. I know I need neutrals, right? We talked about needing neutrals in everything. So, in the box, take all our neutrals. We're going to do our neutrals next. Put them all together. We know they're all going to go together. I've got neutrals. I got a hot coming in. It's got a neutral. It's going to feed not only the light, but it's going to feed the plugs I have in there in the same circuit. There we go. Take all those. Get them even. Pop them off. Doesn't matter how long I strip them back. I can strip them back a foot if I wanted. But code says six inches of free conductor from the back of the box. I do it a little longer sometimes, but I don't want a whole bunch of shit cluttering in the box because one of our lessons we're going to do is wire fill. And each one of these wires has a value and so does the plug or the switch. There's only so many things you could put in a box. Anyways, see them all together, all even, put them all together, all even. If anything, I want more of the sheathing plastic coating to be even than the, than the ends of the wire. Same thing as my grounds. Take them, twist them together. Once I get them twisted together, kind of nice. Do the whole thing. Cut them off, leaving about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch in there. Give me another red. Boom. Okay. I'm going to shove that ground back there because I'm tired of looking at it. Neutral as well, nice and neat. All right, I've got my my travelers, black and my red. That's going to the other three-way switch. I got three wires here. Oh no! What is which one's the switch leg? 
take my first wire, run my thumbnail down it. Nothing. Second wire, run my thumbnail down it. Nothing. Third wire. Oh, those are those two, those are those three nicks I did. You can barely see them. It's not about seeing them, it's about feeling them. I know this is my switch leg. So I have a three-way. I need a hot on one side for a three-way. And I'm gonna need a hot for the regular switch leg. Huh. So what am I gonna do here? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to pigtail these down so I have a hot each switch. Simple as that. Same thing. Strip them back. Strip. Strip. I grab two pieces of wire. Make sure wire laying around. Don't care how long it is. It's all going to get trimmed up nice. And then I'll show you how the switches themselves go in in a second. Bear with me. Here we are. See those two wires? Here's these two. Twist them together. This way we know the splice will not come undone in the wire nut. A lot of times you twist a wire nut on there, a wire will pull back on it, and then because of troubleshooting headache. Alright, let's stick another wire nut on there. Okay. Boom. Push her back in there. Now what do I have? What do I have left? I've got two grounds. I've got a switch leg. I've got a hot and a, and a hot. I take my hot, twist it around my travelers, like so. So especially on the rough, I know exactly what that is. My hot around my switch leg in that box. I take all three push me with my thumb nice and neat up and leave them sitting in there trim them all off even same thing with the single pole switch push the bottom in top in like this you want a little bit of wire to work with when you pull it out you can work with it here you're not working with it real tight especially when you got a troubleshoot you need you need that six inches of free conductor you push them in so it's nice and neat. You push them in like so. So in them freaking drywallers who tend to stick their router in the inside of the box and cut out the inside first, they always nick up your wires. Most of them have to find it, go on the outside, and then trim the drywall out. And that's how they find your wires. But anyways, that's one side of the three-way. Easy enough, right? I'm going to show you the other side of the three-way. And then we'll get to that little trick I was talking about. And that'll be a wrap with how to hook up a three-way switch and a single pole switch. This was easy enough on this side, right? Let's go to the other side. Okay, well this side should be easier, right? You only got two wires. It doesn't make it easier. You could have a 20 gang box. So long as you know that this is the other end. This is see this blue? This blue. This is the one it just comes out of its box and goes to up here to this light box. This is my three wire from the other side. It's as simple as that. I don't need to mark this. But if you had other boxes in there, I put my notches in there. I know that this is my switch leg for the three for the three way. Now if I had other switches, I'd tie that around. So not only do I know that it's a switch leg, I know that it's a switch leg for that three wire. So Okay, but anyways, I didn't need to notch it because there's only two wires in there. Here we go. Cuts on both sides of there. Pull it off. Cuts on both sides, even right across. Just a little nick. You don't need to go down deep. You don't want to hit the wire. You don't need very much. Once in a while, i got to pull on it a little bit, but it's a story for another time. Sometimes you got to give it a little... I give it a little coaxing to get it going. <laughs> Here we go again. Pull the wires or the paper off. Start with our grounds once again. We're going to bend our one wire over. We've got one running parallel with it. Cut it off like so. Twist them together so we have our ground for our switch. 
open it up. Wire nut. Okay, that's good. Neutrals again, remember? We have to have a neutral. We got a neutral coming in. The light needs a neutral. You never switch a neutral because what if this switch box is it comes in here, then out to the other plugs? You'd be switching the neutral off and on, you'd be switching the whole circuit. You'd turn your lights off and then half the house would go out. Half the circuit would go out, go off rather. So that's why the neutrals always go together. So here we go, put our grounds back in there. Now we have our switch leg, there's only one wire left. Wrap it around our three wire. And now we know where this is our switch leg and these are our travelers. Three-way switches are both the same on both ends. You see that black uh, screw? You can wrap them or you can stab them in the, in the back. A little holes in there, you can wrap them. For right now, for this video, we're just going to stab it in the back. This is called your common. They call it a common. It's the common screw. Neutrals are called a common. Let's not worry about that for all intents and purposes. This is a common. So we just start with that. So we know because that one's wrapped around, we know that that's our common, our oddball, whatever you want to call it. What's left, it doesn't matter. There's no red goes on one side and black goes on the other. Those are our travelers. Three-way, simple as that. Look at that. Two wires, or two travelers, go with the two gold ones. Our common, so that'd be the switch leg, or the hot on the other side, goes under that screw. Same thing on the other side. Of course, we put the ground in, la -de la okay, we screw it in, we're good. Everybody knows what time it is, it's taco time, baby. Got this room, this little market. Hey, they all spoke Spanish, you know. I know they said some professional eat in front of people, but we're all friends here. You can eat in front of me. If you see me on the street, offer me a fucking taco, man. Excuse the language, but I gotta have them. Let me see what it's like. Damn! Mmm! Good! 